Welcome to Nija Education. Please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press bell icon. Hello everyone. Today I am going to start first chapter of geography that is India size and location. Here you can see world map. This is a north pole, this is south pole, this is east and this is west. You can locate our country in the northern eastern hemisphere. See here our country is located in a northern and eastern hemisphere. Our country India according to the area is the seventh largest country in the world that is 3.28. Here you can see the country names and this is the area in square kilometer. First is Russia that is 17.9 percentage in square kilometer. Second is Canada that is 9.98 percentage in square kilometer. Third is USA that is 9.62. Fourth is China that is 9.59. Fifth is Brazil that is 8.51. Sixth is Australia that is 7.69. And seventh is India our country that have 3.28 in square kilometers. So you can see here our country is the seventh largest country in the world in area 3.28. Now you can see here latitude and longitude. These are the latitude lines and these are the longitude lines. Latitude lines are the horizontal lines. They run from east to west. This line you can see this is the equator line marked at 0 degree. Equator line divide the globe into the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. So these lines are called latitude and this is the main line that is the equator marked at 0 degree. Now here you can see longitudes. These all are longitude lines. This, these lines are vertical. Longitude lines run from north to south. This is called prime meridian. This line divide the globe into the eastern and western hemisphere. This also marked at 0 degree. Now again you can see here latitude and longitude. Now how you will find out positive latitude and negative latitude? First you see in the latitude. Now here you can see latitude and longitude again. Here is a positive, here is negative, same in the case of longitude also, here is a positive degree, here is a negative degree. Now above positive lines are above the equator and negative lines is below the equator. So here you can find out the positive degrees of latitude and here is a negative degree of latitude. Same in the case in longitude also. In the, on the east side you can find out the positive degrees and on the west side there is a negative degree. Now without this reference point you cannot locate any country on the globe. If you have a longitude and latitude of any country you can easily locate any country on the globe. But for that you have a accurate longitude and latitude. Here you can see India's map. India lies in the northern and eastern hemisphere. India is the seventh largest country in the world covering an area of 3.28 million square kilometer. India cover 2.4 percentage of the total geographical area of the world. It means India cover 2.4 percentage total land area in the world. Here you can see that. The mainland stretches from latitude 8 degree north, here you can see latitude 8 degree north and here comes 8 degree 4 north to 37 degree 6 north, here you can see 36 degree north and here comes 37 degree 6 north. 
2 longitude 68 degree 7 east here comes 68 degree east and here it is 68 degree 7 north to 97 degree 25 east here comes 96 degree east and here you can see 97 degree 25 east. The latitude and a longitude extent of the country is almost same in degree that is about 30 degree. That means, the di distance between the latitude and longitude is 30 degree both are same. The southernmost point in the Indian territory that is in Great Nicobar Island is the Indira point that is 6 degree 45 north. Here you can see that 6 degree 45 north while Kanyakumari is the southernmost point of a Indian mainland. Now, one more line here you can see this is the Tropic of Cancer. It crosses the country at 23 degree 30 here you can see 24 degree and here comes 23 degree 30 north dividing the country into two equal parts that is northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. The country is a vast size and measure about 3214 kilometers from north to south see and 2933 kilometers from west to east. Now, coastline this is the coastline that is 7516.6 kilometer encircle the mainland that is Lakshadweep island and Andabar and Nicobar island. Now, one more here narrow line you can see this is called strait. A narrow stretch of a sea linking two large seas that is Park Strait and English Channel. Now, one more line is here this line is called standard time meridian that is 82 degree 30 east longitude. Now, it passes through the middle of the India that is in Mirjapur in Uttar Pradesh and this is considered as a standard time meridian. Now, why it is considered a standard time meridian that passes through Mirjapur in Uttar Pradesh in India that we will discuss in our next video.